melasma is it a stable or unstable one what are the possible treatments available for melasma treatment what are the skin care available in the market that help to reduce the pigmentation this is a typical distribution of melasma pigmentation besides the brown color pigmentation we do notice that there's a lot of redness as well because the skin is being traumatized and being sensitized already we usually don't proceed straight away with laser treatment. We will send the patients home with some topical skin care for nourishing of the skin, some oral supplements, advice in lifestyle adjustment, and we'll see the patients back in about a month. By the time the patients come back for follow-up, then we will be able to know whether the melasma is it a stable or unstable one. So this is extremely important because if we perform treatment on an unstable melasma, we might make conditions become worse. Stable melasma is a condition where the pigmentation is already stabilized for some time. There is no any abrupt changes or no sudden worsening. It consistently there. For unstable melasma, it's a condition where it's progressive. It's getting darker and darker. So for that condition, usually we would like to perform the treatment which is slightly more intensive, not from the perspective of laser, but from the perspective of nourishing or hydrate the skin. Because if we perform the laser which overstimulate the skin when it's not ready for recovery, we might worsen the patient's skin conditions. As what being shared by the patients, when she first started the pigmentation and she still applied retinol on the face and initially she did get pretty good results. As time goes by, then she realized that the face is getting redder and redder. The amount that she utilized is a little bit more than what it's supposed to be. Then the retinol eventually leading to thinning of the skin and development of redness and pigmentation and increase the sensitivity. And from the history that the patient shared, we gather the information. From there, we can come up a treatment plan for her. We can categorize it into few categories. Number one is for preventive purposes by utilizing sun protection, UV screen. Secondly, we can use the topical medications to apply on the skin or to reduce the inflammation activity in the body. For example, like vitamin C, vitamin D, topical and oral medications are like tranexamic acid. Then the third category will be laser treatment. So laser treatment, we have a lot of options available. Dual yellow light laser, Pico laser, fractional CO2 laser which laser should i go for if i have melasma it's actually depending on how fast the patients want the recovery and what is the melasma situation if the patient is at unstable melasma condition usually we will suggest the patients to use the laser which is slightly more soothing for example like dual yellow light laser if it's a stable melasma and the patient's asking for fast recovery then we can combine few treatment options for example prp in a combination with fractional co2 usually with these combinations we'll be able to see about 50 to 60 percent eliminations with one single session of treatment let us have a look at the patient's result in about a month time if you're looking at the forehead you'll notice that the acne have reduced significantly second thing when you're checking on the patient's cheek you'll notice that the redness on the cheek has subsided significantly the swelling on the cheek is reducing as well less water retention on the cheek area and the pigmentation is improving at the same time treatment planning is extremely important what are the skin care available in the market that help to reduce the pigmentation? For example, acetic acid, cystamine, hydroquinone, hydrocortisone, topical alpha hydroxy acid, tranexamic acid, and tretinoin. So these are the active ingredients which is available nowadays. What I would propose is for nutrition-based skin care, you can consider to purchase over the counter, but for medicated based skin care, for example, the tretinoid, retinol, hydroquinone or hydrocortisone, please ask opinion from a medical doctor before you start to use because to purchase the skin care is one issue. To have somebody to monitor, to know when to start, when to stop and when to continue, that is the crucial part.